Um, hi. Hi. I'm um, probably not your first, second, or tenth choice for a visitor, but I should be because I brought presents, uh, magazines, perfume, truffles, so that definitely makes me better than nothing, right? Have you seen Johnny? So, what kind of stuff do they have you doing? Do you walk the grounds, make pop holders? They don't have you weaving baskets, do they? That class was full. Please tell me that was a joke. Tell me about Johnny. How is he doing? He misses you. I don't understand why he won't come to see me. Well, today's the first day you're allowed to have visitors. <laughs> oh, then he'll come by to see me today. I think maybe the doctors told him to leave you alone. Well, he doesn't have to listen to them. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but... Johnny's not doing so well, either. I was having dinner with Mac on Sunday because, of course, he still insists on doing that. You should see Robin. She's about to have the baby any day. Anyway, he told me that uh, Johnny ran a speedboat into a freighter. But he's okay. He, he wasn't hurt. Oh, that sounds like Johnny. Do you want me to take him a message for you? No, I'm not going to guilt him into coming here. If he wants to see me, he will. Jones, what a pleasant surprise. I told that stupid guard at the front that I wanted to see Johnny, not you. Well, it's my house, so I decide who Johnny gets to see. Is he here? What do you think about my roses? You know, I built a greenhouse after the fire. I would love to give you a tour sometime. I don't have time for any of your mind games right now, and that arrangement would look a lot better if you took a few of the flowers out. Well, come here and show me. I just want to see Johnny. Yeah, how can you have an opinion about the roses when you're standing so far away? Okay, here's the deal. If you don't have Johnny come down here immediately, I'm going to speed dial Jason Morgan, and before you know it, you'll be up to your ears and a bunch of little mob guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why would Jason protect you? Because we happen to be extremely close. And I'll scream as soon as he answers the phone. You have till the count of three. One, two. Enough of the dramatics. Oh, we were having so much fun. Could you not return one of my phone calls or answer one of my text messages? What do you need to tell me? As if I'm going to say anything to you in front of your insane father. You can leave. Or we can. You're right about the roses, Miss Jones. Excellent eye. <laughs> what is wrong with you antagonizing my father? Lulu needs to see you. Lulu is waiting for you. She knows she's allowed to have visitors. She's sure you're going to come see her. Lulu understands why I'm not going to see her. Hello? Are we talking about Lulu Spencer, Miss? I'll do whatever I want, whenever I want to, no matter what. She's not going to understand why you're not visiting if her. If I go visit her, she could relapse. I put my life on the line coming here today. Not that you would ever thank me, but if you love Lulu as much as you say you do, then you'll go visit her and do whatever you can to get her out of that place. I put her in that place. I'm the reason she's so sick. No. Lulu had a breakdown because... She killed Logan. And and maybe it was made worse because of her genes and her mother. I don't know, but what I do know is she needs you now, more than ever. What I know is what happens with mental illness when it goes untreated. My father's living proof. After all the times you said you've loved Lulu, after everything that happened at your trial, come on, Johnny, I really think you're the only one who could save her. Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do by staying away. Of the most dire industry. Enough of the mob stuff, okay? This is really important. No, this is about the state of Fair Lulu. How did you know? Well, I, I saw the gifts that you brought. I visited, and I figured you'd share my concern. I was able to soothe her a bit by reading excerpts from William Blake, but then the most disturbing development. She said she had to be somewhere on time. Yes, I was stunned and mightily distressed. I know, Lulu's never anywhere on time. I, I, I fear she's being stifled by the well-meaning care workers at Shadybrook. This, this is it, Spinelli. We have to break ground there.